Acura RSX Type S. It's a K20, K24. And my Instagram is C underscore N I E T O. It's Nieto 819. So before I had this, I actually had a 94 Integra. And I had it for like three or four years. I've always loved the DC bodies, the Integra body style. So um, actually, when I got a new job, I was on the freeway and a piece of metal came out of a truck and it totaled my Integra. So uh, I ended up picking this up to replace it. Figured get something a little faster and better and newer. Uh, and I ended up getting this for like $3,200 or something. But that was about four years ago. Well, the reason I went K20, K24 was obviously for performance upgrades and everything, but it was mostly for the torque. And I had been looking into Frankensteins for a long, long time. So I actually went to pick apart one day during their 40% off. And there was a 2007 TSX there. And uh, when I <laughs> went up to it, the whole subframe and everything was dropped and I thought I was out of a motor and when I walked up to it they had just taken the automatic transmission out of it so I just took some seat belts strapped it around the motor and dragged it out from under the car and I ended up getting the whole K24 for $200 and uh, from there we just had everything rebuilt the head got rebuilt block got rebuilt so the head is a K20 A2 has skunk 2 stage 2 cams, spring te uh, super tech uh, valve train, springs and retainers and everything. The bottom is a K24A2. Uh, it has 87 and a half millimeter RS machine pistons in it that are 12 to 1. Eagle rods. The motor's basically fully built. Um, and uh, it's on fully 85,000 cc injectors has the Skunk 2 Ultra Street manifold with a half liter spacer, 74 millimeter Skunk 2 throttle body, Skunk 2 alpha headers, and a K2 3 inch exhaust. I got tuned by Eric's Racing in uh, Baldwin Park. It made 300 horsepower and 220 torque. Uh, like I was saying before, it's on fully 85 and all that. So from the before of just a K20, the torque is just way different, so much better. Uh, getting over on the lanes, on freeways and everything, it's effortless now. Going up hills, no problem. There's no lugging or lagging or anything like that. It's, it's honestly the way the car should have came from the factory, I think. All right, so motor-wise, again, we're looking at a K20 head, K24 block. Has the Skunk 2 Alpha headers. It has a hybrid racing fuel rail, 1,000 cc gram injectors. The hybrid uh, fuel pressure gauge, Skunk 2 Ultra Street Manifold with the half liter spacer, 74 millimeter Skunk 2 throttle body, hybrid racing, 70 mil intake, uh, it's got a little cosmetic stuff, K-Tune power steering line, the flush mount Skunk 2 covers, some hybrid stuff. Um, retrofitted the headlights, they're dual retrofit, from uh, Morimoto, HIDs on the uh, low beams and LEDs on the high beams. It's got a eBay rep <laughs> uh, A-spec lid that I just put on because I had a Type R one on there, but it flew off on the freeway, so that was lost. Um, it's on some Work Emotion D9Rs. They're 17 by nine and a half plus 38, and there's a 15 mil spacer all around. Um, it's got a K2 3 inch exhaust and it's got BC Racing coilovers. It has the Progress rear sway bar, um, K2 lower control arms. All the bushings just got replaced with the energy suspension kit, uh, Buddy Club extended ball joints, drilled slotted rotors, um, stainless steel brake lines all the way around. I have a um, Wheelwood brake kit, big brake kit coming in. It's a six piston that will probably be in within the next few weeks. It's got LED lights all around. It's, that's basically it for the exterior. Kind of kept it stock looking for the most part. For the interior, we have the uh, Integra Type R center console. The uh, blue DC5R door panels are in there. Uh, hybrid racing.
racing V3 shifter, the hybrid racing cables, hybrid racing detent springs and gear selector springs also. Um, these are from a 05, 06 base model R6, but they're a lot more comfortable than the leather ones. Um, I have some Strut King pedals, pedal covers, uh, just like a little Pioneer dash. And then the rear is gutted. I don't have any seats in the back right now. I put a new fuel pump in there and I got lazy and I never put the seats back in. So. <laughs> <laughs> the future plans are front lips going to get painted, color matched. Um, I have OEM A-Spec side skirts and the OEM A-Spec rear lip. That will get put on when I get the time to stop being lazy. Uh, I'm going to be doing an intake cutout. So they'll cut out right here and we'll make a custom intake for there. And maybe a carbon fiber hood eventually. Uh, definitely want to get the spoon mirrors, the blue tinted ones. And just respray the car because the, the paint isn't the best. Everyone knows kind of how the 2000 to 2010 Honda Acura paint was. The clear coat on it just fades away. So just get it eventually resprayed the same color. And that's probably, that's probably about it. Try to keep it OEM plus a little bit. about to get a little ride along in the 300 wheel K20 K24 RSX. This is the first time I'm going to be in an RSX with actual torque. So let's see how it goes. And he got his uh, temps and everything right there. Really curious how this is going to go. Teaser pool, but we're gonna get a real one real <laughs> soon. <laughs> There's some a uh, little bit of traffic. Sorry about that. <laughs> wow, this sounds insane. <laughs> That'll get gap though, that's a very slow one. It's hella loud though, fucking. It is. When you get on it. <laughs> 